Ramos. I am the Executive Director of the Cordillera Women's Education Action Research Center. We are based in Baguio City in Northern Philippines, in the Cordillera region. I'd like to start by telling you about uh, how we were established as an organization. Um, so CWORK, that's Cordillera Women's Education Action Research Center, it, it was one of the resolutions from the first, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, the only so far Cordillera Women's Congress. It was a gathering of women from different sectors across the Cordillera region. And um, one of the resolutions is that they, they recognize the need to set up a service institution that would um, support grassroots women across the Cordillera for empowerment. And that is also on the basis of recognizing the potential of grassroots women for leadership and for to contribute uh, significantly to the development of their communities, um, as well as many other challenges. So I think one of the, the important milestones of um, our institution is significantly contributing to the setting up of the Regional Alliance of Grassroots Indigenous Women in the Cordillera Region, and that is the Inabuyog. Um, it uh, it is the Regional Alliance of Grassroots Indigenous Women in the Cordillera. It is a local term in the Kalinga dialect, and it stands for uh, cooperation and collective work. Our programs have started from research, then organizing, and then education and training, and uh, later on it evolved to include programs on small social economic um, projects that could um, accompany the women and uh, support their efforts in the community for food sovereignty and increasing um, food production and access to um, basic needs like water, uh, so on and so forth. And then um, of present, we have also developed uh, programs that are more thematic and based on the needs of um, our women partners on the ground as well as their um, community. So we've also had specific programs with women human rights defenders and food sovereignty. And of course, uh, to date, research is an integral part of our work. Uh, we continue to produce knowledge materials such as publications um, on the situation of indigenous women in the Cordillera. And we also partner with our different um, networks to organize um, relevant advocacy events for um, related topics. So um, presently, or if we talk about the sustainable development goals, so we will look at sustainable development goal number five, um, where we we are we have uh, been contributing to um, closing the gender gap. We, we believe that the work that we have done for 30 years through the programs that I mentioned are our humble contributions to that. And we um, give particularity also to the situation of indigenous peoples in the Cordillera region where there are um, uh, concerns, lingering uh, concerns or present concerns of issues of self-determination in relation to ancestral land rights vis-a-vis -vis development aggression and other related issues. So these are all um, the issues that we are working with. Uh, with our partners on the ground. So presently, our uh, capacity building programs are focused on women's rights and women's mental health and psychosocial support. So through these uh, two programs, we provide, along with our network of professionals and experts, direct uh, services for the women and their organizations. We also um, facilitate advocacy events related to these two um, to raise awareness on the laws for the protection of women and children um, at the same time criticizing or critiquing uh, to so that we can come up with policy advocacy or policy recommendation on uh, the loopholes of existing laws for women because it's uh, quite astounding you know we have I think over 40 laws in the Philippines for the protection of women and children um, so it's also good if there will be an opportunity uh, with legislators to and other related stakeholders to assess the functionality or the efficacy of these laws vis-a-vis -vis the data that we gather every year in relation to violence against women and children and so on and so forth. So it is through these different programs, um, Ellie, that we have uh, contributed to um, closing the gender gap, so to speak, but more in relation to the sustainable de development goals towards attaining uh, gender equality.
Well, the programs of our institution are in informed by evidence. It's evidence-based. So um, this stems largely from the research that we do and it is complemented by the consultations and the conversations that we have with women and their community. So it is by these um, strategies that we come up with our programs so that they are appropriate, they are needs-based, and they uh, respond to the current needs of women and their uh, communities. But in, but in terms of inspiration, we identify as um, being part of the women's movement in the Cordillera. So of course, we draw inspiration from the pioneers of the social movement of indigenous peoples, especially the women here in the Cordillera, past and present. Uh, I think in spite of the many challenges that they faced and they continue to face, we draw strength from each other um, as there are continuing challenges uh, when it comes not only to advocacy on women's rights, but that also of indigenous people's rights in the Cordillera. I think I will not only speak for the organization that I am with, but I perhaps I will speak for many development workers and for many civil society organizations with advocacies on human rights, women's rights, and other uh, sectoral rights of basic sectors. The overall challenge is the human rights situation in the Philippines, um, as there are uh, laws or policies or programs that uh, uh, directly impinge on the basic or the fundamental rights of the Filipino people, such as the right to freedom of association, even uh, right to freedom of speech and freedom right to peaceful assembly. So these are all challenges that we face in general. But in the Cordillera, uh, women human rights defenders that we work with, and um, including us working with human uh, women human rights defenders and working in the area of human rights, we have had our share of those two because um, we've also experienced uh, judicial harassment, um, trumped up charges with the women that we work with in their communities. And um, it's also, there are many documented um, cases of um, harassment and uh, intimidation. So these are all the challenges that uh, we face as um, advocates of human rights. And it, this is a, I think, um, uh, a continuing concern. It's not uh, as if we can say that, oh, because we existed for 30 years, we resolved specific problems already. But of course, there are challenges uh, every now and then. But we have uh, contributed, I would say, um, to uh, rising to the occasion because we draw strength from our women partners on the ground when we see that they are still there and they are prevailing in spite of the challenges that also gives us uh, inspiration to carry on with the work that we do. We are very happy to be part of different networks at multi-levels that uh, not only actively advocate for the rights of women but also indigenous peoples and also um, networks that actively take on thematic issues such as women's mental health and um, policy review in relation to laws for the protection of women. So um, at the local level, we are part of different networks with um, CSO and um, CSOs and relevant government uh, agencies. So yesterday, we, we, we were part of um, an anniversary event of our, of our regional government agency partners. And then we are also uh, part of uh, structures and partnerships with the uh, local government units. We have formal partnerships with LGUs um, in the areas that we work with in the communities. And um, in one case, we are also part of um, the People's Council. So these are the different networks. And of course, there are bigger networks um, also nationwide on, on research and advocacy, and we are also part of that. So it's important to be part of all of these to um, for the collective uh, output, uh, the efforts and output of the work that we do. Because when we put together our strengths and we synergize, as they call it, we are sure to achieve um, more concrete output when it comes to advocacy on the rights of women and uh, indigenous peoples. Yes, nothing about us without us. Let us get involved. It's very important to be involved in the social movement for women's empowerment and for um, the recognition and protection of indigenous people's rights. Um, it's important to link up with 
um, organizations where we are. And I believe that in our own individual capacities, we can be part of solutions as well. But um, it's always important to link up with others in the communities where we are. Um, we can do more working together and um, it's important as well to look at the aspect of education and awareness because when uh, women are informed, when populations are informed, we can make better um, informed decisions in addressing our situation, in analyzing and addressing our situation. So I think these are um, two challenges that we can continue to look at. Um, in our line of work, we are happy that we've had um, an increasing number of uh, networks. So, for example, annually we are uh, we have been convening for the last six years already an annual collaboration with different networks, not only in Baguio City or the Cordillera, but also from other regions in the Philippines to uh, collaborate um, our efforts for International Women's Day. So that's already a very important thing when it comes to advocating for women's rights and bringing in new organizations and individuals who would like to be part of this advocacy. Um, we are pleased that we have sustained, for instance, our um, work and partnership with um, the academe and school-based organizations because this has resulted also to some efforts among the organizations of young women, for example, um, coming up with recommendations for grievance uh, mechanisms when it comes to the protection of their rights inside the campus, so specifically uh, in the case of sexual harassment. And also, um, it's through these conversations that our partners have also developed um, the developed solutions on what they can do to address the situation of uh, women and indigenous people. So I think that this can be done and replicated as well um, in many communities. We, women have the potential to do this and together and through our different uh, lines of work and expertise, I'm sure that we will be able to um, come up with more solutions. Yung mahalaga, um, makilahok tayo. <music>